Hello, I am Damian Falcone, and this is part two in our series on the independent foreclosure review. In part one, we discussed the eligibility requirements for the program. In this video, we will discuss the application, examples of financial injury, wrongful foreclosure, and a few things you should consider in maximizing your financial reward while protecting your rights. This is Get Settled, your source for consumer loss mitigation information. Many eligible applicants are likely not to have received this application due to a change in address. This is an actual application from one of my clients with the personal information removed. This shows your eligible property and mortgage information, your current name and contact information, servicer information, where you should mail your application, more property and mortgage information, and then you will reach the actual application listed as Section 2, Your Information. There has been testimony provided to the U.S. Senate that warns against your information listed in Section 2 being used by lenders, as it was stated, to collect an otherwise uncollectible deficiency judgment. Homeowners are given no assurance that information they give to the consultants in Section 2 will not be used against them by the servicers. And the testimony goes on to refer to it as a classic but sleazy bait and switch collection technique. Section 3, Background, is possibly the most important section of the application. This is where you identify the financial harm you've experienced. Although this application only lists six examples on page one of five, there are 22 listed in the engagement letters from the OCC. You can view them at the OCC website listed here. Unfortunately, these examples can be challenging to understand, but it is very important to explain your situation very well because the independent consultant reviewing your application will likely only review for injuries you identify. The present exception is for an application that leaves this section blank. In the case where section three of the application is left blank, the consultant would do a general review to attempt to identify the financial harm suffered. Section four, signature, requires your name and date and the requirement it be mailed by July 31st, 2012 to the address listed below. In part three of the independent foreclosure review series, we will talk about the monetary re reward available to applicants while including examples from our files of loan documents showing errors, misrepresentations, or other deficiencies. I'm Damian Falcone, and this is Get Settled.